Did you know you can schedule live streams and broadcast to multiple destinations for free? Using Riverside, you can connect your Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube channel, and more, plus schedule live streams, and it will sync thumbnails, titles, and descriptions for those events, and you can manage it all in Riverside. I'm gonna walk you through how to set up scheduled events for each platform, and for platforms that don't have scheduling features, how you can use RTMP to live stream everywhere. Let's log into our Riverside account, and again, you can do all of this completely for free. If we want to schedule a live session, let's go over to the plan button here at the top of our home tab and then go to schedule session. Let's say we're going to live stream a podcast growth webinar and then we can choose the date and time of the broadcast. Remember to set the time zone and then if you're going to be inviting remote guests that's going to join you to record with you or present live during the broadcast, you can type in their email here and they'll get a message with instructions to join the studio. You can also add a description here. And if you were doing a more webinar style event, you can actually collect audience information by turning on registration. You can ask participants to fill out a form before they get access to view the webinar, or they just need to enter their name and email when joining the session live. Now keep in mind, audience registration only applies to viewers joining with Riverside audience mode. In order for these audience members to join, you'll need to have the stream on Riverside toggled on in your studio, which I'll show you in a moment. Now let's add some live stream destinations. Now the ones that support scheduling within Riverside is Facebook, YouTube, and LinkedIn. Let's connect our Facebook page first. We can click on Facebook, and then you can choose to connect your personal Facebook profile and live stream there, or a particular Facebook page that you manage. Let's choose Facebook page. You'll be prompted to log in with your Facebook account, and then you'll be viewing all the pages that you have access to. Choose the page where you want to live stream, click continue, hit save, and now that Facebook page will be connected to the Riverside event. Now you can also add a Facebook profile. This will go to your personal Facebook account. Click your profile or page that you want to connect, and you'll see that your Facebook is now connected. Once you connect your first destination, you can upload a thumbnail image. And the great thing about scheduling with Riverside is that image is going to sync to Facebook, YouTube, and LinkedIn for the scheduled event. Let's add another destination. This time, we'll log into our YouTube channel. Log into the Google account where the YouTube channel is connected. And if you have multiple channels, you'll wanna choose the specific channel you wanna to broadcast to. Click continue, and you'll see that channel connected here in Riverside. Select it, and you'll see the YouTube is connected as well. Now I'm gonna to toggle on both Facebook and YouTube, and let's connect one more destination, which is LinkedIn. Again, you can live stream to a LinkedIn profile or page. I'm gonna choose profile here. Once you log in with your LinkedIn credentials, choose your profile, and now the LinkedIn account is connected as well. Now, if you would like, you can adjust the title, description, and thumbnail for the scheduled events on each individual platform. So with your YouTube channel connected, you can click the three dots here, edit details, and then change the title, description, privacy setting, and upload a different thumbnail for YouTube than you do on the other platforms. You can do the same with your Facebook page, clicking the three dots, edit details, and changing the information here. Now keep in mind, if you make changes to this event after you create the session here, changes will sync to your YouTube channel and Facebook page. At the moment, changes are not synced to LinkedIn, so you'll need to make those changes manually on your LinkedIn page in addition to changing them here in Riverside. Now we can also add other destinations that won't have a scheduled event option, but we can still multicast to when we start this event. That could be a Twitch channel or even your X account. Let's choose Twitch. And once you log in with those credentials, now you can be multicasting to all of these destinations at the same time. Now, before you click Create Session, remember the title and description are going to sync to those other platforms like YouTube, LinkedIn, and Facebook. So make sure the title, the time and date, and everything is correct. And now let's create session. Now that it's successful, you can add it to your Google Calendar, and you'll also see the individual event links right here in Riverside, so you can copy, put it in an email newsletter, post on social media, and share wherever you'd like. Now that we have the event scheduled in Riverside, let's check each social media destination and make sure the event is there. Here on my personal Facebook page, we scheduled the event. And if I go to more and then events, and you'll see under upcoming events, the podcast growth webinar that we scheduled in Riverside, and it's here, ready to be broadcast to on the day and date that we scheduled. Here in LinkedIn, we can go up to our profile, and here on your profile, scroll down to your activity, go over to events, and you'll see the scheduled event right here. Click on it, and you'll see the thumbnail image that you posted in Riverside. You can make changes to the event here in LinkedIn, and it's ready to go. Then here on the YouTube channel that we scheduled, we can go over to the Live tab, and there's the event that we scheduled in Riverside, 
with our thumbnail. We can go in if we need to make further changes to the description or tags, we can do that here on YouTube. Now on the day of your event, to make sure you're streaming to all those destinations properly, here in your Riverside account, go to Scheduled, where you have that scheduled live event, and click Join Session. From there, you'll enter the Riverside Studio, and you're ready to record and stream. Now, if you wanted to live stream to a Facebook group, Instagram, or other destinations that don't support direct login, you can use RTMP. For instance, maybe I want to live stream to this Facebook group where I administrate. Well, here, I can go down to the Write Something box, and then in the Add Your Post, go to More, and then you'll see the live video option for a Facebook group. Click that and you can choose to go live right now or create an event for live streaming in the future. You can click create event, upload an image, title the event and add the description. And then you'll see some live stream settings here. You can use the built-in webcam, but to live stream using Riverside, you'll wanna choose the streaming software option here. And then you'll need two URLs, the stream key here and expand the advanced settings and you'll need the server URL that you can find here. Copy the stream key to your clipboard. Now to add RTMP destinations, I'm gonna to go to my studio settings here in the bottom left corner, go over to live stream, and here you'll see the custom RTMP option. If I click that, we're gonna enter the stream name. I would enter the Facebook group title there. Now I'll paste the stream key, which we copied to our clipboard, and then the server URL here on Facebook, I'll copy that, and I'll paste it here in the stream URL. When I click add, now that I've added the Facebook group, when I live stream from the studio, I can turn this Facebook group on and the broadcast will go there as well. Let's add two more destinations, the first being Instagram. I'm gonna add another RTMP destination. We'll call this Instagram. Then here on Instagram, you wanna go to the create tab. You'll need to do this on your computer. Click live video, add a title for the event. Then for audience, you can choose public or just to practice. We'll choose practice for now, but if you wanna live stream to your followers, go with the public option, hit next, and then you'll see the same stream URL and stream key information here. Let's copy the stream URL, paste that here in Riverside, and same with the stream key. Paste that here and we'll click add. Now we've added our Instagram profile and a Facebook group, plus all these other destinations. All right, now that we've connected all these destinations, let's go into our Riverside studio and start a live stream. I'll go back to the schedule tab here for our growth webinar and I'll click join session. Here in the lobby, choose your camera, microphone, and speakers, whether or not you're using headphones, and let's join the studio. You'll see the scheduled event title is already here in the top left, and all those live stream destinations live right here, and you can see they're all still connected. Remember, if you had audience registration toggled on when you created the session, in order for those viewers to see the live stream, you'll need to go up here to the live stream settings, and where it says go live on Riverside, make sure that's toggled on. Now those people who registered will be able to view the live stream and they'll be in Riverside audience mode. If you want to learn more about audience mode and all the features Riverside has to offer there, check out this video above or the links in the description. Here in the pop-up window, I'm going to toggle on and you'll see the Facebook profile still connected, our YouTube channel, LinkedIn, Twitch, and the Facebook group that I added via RTMP and my Instagram. We're going to go live on all those platforms with one click. Now, if you wanted to remove the Riverside watermark and upgrade to 1080p HD live streaming, you can go to the settings gear here and upgrade to the Live Studio add-on. For that, you'll need to be on a Riverside Standard or Pro plan, and then it's an additional $15 a month. But then you can choose 1080p, remove the Riverside watermark, and then you can have a 1080p high quality live stream to all those platforms. Now, when we're ready to go live, I just click go live down here, start recording, and we'll be live on all those destinations automatically. And remember, you're still being recorded in high quality because you're using Riverside. That local video and audio is saved to you and any remote guests that you invite, and they can live stream with you, and then you can access those files later or use the Riverside editor and our AI tools to repurpose your content super fast. If you wanna learn more about the editor and all the AI tools we have available, check out this video here and that links below as well. And then to make your live stream engaging, you can upload media board files here, play them during the live stream, and these video clips or audio clips will be seen and heard by everyone watching live across all those platforms. You can show lower thirds, whether it's information and clickable links are available in Riverside audience mode, but everyone will see the lower thirds, which includes Q&A questions even from the live chat, which when you start live streaming, Riverside has a feature called OmniChat, and that will display comments from Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook in the Riverside studio, so you can answer those questions and show them as lower thirds. And then if you send a message, that message will go out to Twitch and YouTube, 
so you can communicate through multiple platforms all here in Riverside. Our OmniChat feature is available on the free plan, so you can use it completely for free, and you can see what platforms support OmniChat in which direction at this Help Center article. I'll link this below as well. And don't forget when you have multiple guests, you can change the live stream layout focusing on the active speaker, share your screen and other media board files to make it engaging, and engage with your audience in live Q&A or showing the chat on screen as lower thirds. If you'd like a full tutorial on all the live stream tools and ways to make it visually engaging, I did an entire masterclass on that. You can check out the video above here. And don't forget to subscribe to the Riverside channel right here and hit that like button. Lots of content on using our AI tools to edit quickly, gear recommendations for cameras, lighting, microphones, and more. Plus, if you have any questions, leave comments below this video and I answer those personally. And if you want a little behind the scenes of my live stream setup, including how I switch cameras with my foot, that's for real, check out this video right up here. Thanks for watching. We can't wait to see what you live stream.